Hey Scorpios, welcome to part two. This is going to be for Scorpios, focusing in on feminine and masculine energies, how those are tying into each other and playing off of each other. I will also do crystal advice at the end and pull general advice for Scorpios at the end as it relates to part one and part two. If you haven't looked at part one, go ahead and look at it. It's just a general sign reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. So keep in mind for the masculine and feminine readings, you could resonate with both energies. You can resonate with feminine. You can resonate with masculine. We all have both uh, within all of us. So just take note of that and only take the messages as they resonate, as I've already said. Okay. All right, Scorpio. So let's just dive in. Uh, who are we going with first, masculine or feminine? Mm. Oh, I can feel both. And it's very different. Uh, Scorp uh, Scorpio men, I feel a very down energy. I feel a very sad energy, almost like a how do I say that? Um, I feel shame, actually. I feel like a shameful, sad, whimpery, very small, meek, timid sort of energy for Scorpio masculine. I feel like there's some very, like, dark night of the soul sort of stuff going on there. Uh, for Scorpio feminines, I actually, I feel a rising to power, stepping into power, and that was very clear in part one. Um, God, they're so different. Um, we'll go into Scorpio men first. We'll go Scorpio masculine. We'll do Scorpio masculine. Keep in mind, you don't have to be a man to resonate with masculine energy because we all have both. God, it's just, it's heavy and it's just a lot. I feel like it's a long overdue looking at some stuff. A lot of shame. So much shame. It's like, because shame is an interesting feeling, Right? It's one that, I mean, obviously no one's comfortable with. Uh, who likes to feel shame? But it just feels like a lot. It just feels very pent up. Like it, like literally a bunch of shit has been ignored for a long time and there's no ignoring it anymore is how it's feeling to me. Um, oh, it feels heavy and it feels dark. All right, where are we going with my Scorpio men? Scorpio men's. What cards do I have here? We're going to do beautiful creatures, actually, for my Scorpio masculine. Any messages from my Scorpio men and masculine energies, please? Any messages from my Scorpio men and masculine energies? I just read the word beast. I don't know if someone refers to themselves that way or refers to a side of them that way. But I, I feel that I feel like that's the notion. I feel like that was just for confirmation for someone. Any messages from my Scorpio men and masculine energies? Yeah, it's almost like someone's ashamed of what they would call their inner beast, or I guess there's their shadow side. Um, I feel like they're. This is a. This is interesting. This is obviously not gonna be for all of you. I feel like it's actually for like probably one or two people. One. I just heard one. So this is like a confirmation that someone needs to hear. I'm getting this like shame with like primal feelings. Like there's shame with that. There's shame with primal feelings. I don't know how else to express that. Like recognizing like the part of human, like part of being human is being an animal. And there's like shame with that. I think because it might feel unevolved. It's interesting. Um, any messages for my Scorpio men, masculine energies? Any messages from my Scorpio men and masculine energies? Mm, we have Ace of Swords in reverse. What, is this denial? I feel like it's denial. It's, it's denial or it's illusion. Like cloudiness or flat out denial. But I'm getting denial for a big group. Any other messages from my Scorpio men masculine energies? Oh, that's too many. That's too many. Come back, come back, come back. Any messages from my Scorpio men masculine energies, please? Any messages from my Scorpio men masculine energies?
Whoa. Ace of Wands in reverse. So two cards for the masculine energies, both in reverse, both aces in reverse. Yeah, again, that like that animalistic energy with the with the ace of wands in reverse. There's something about like primal instinct or desire, urges, impulse that I think has been very um shoved down, or there's been shame around that. I'm also getting there's some shame around indulgence with that, but I feel like that really needs to be acknowledged. There's something about acknowledging that there's been such a repression of that that's going to unlock almost like a floodgate of emotion. Keep getting shame, 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 shame. Any other messages from my Scorpio masculine energies, please? Then we have the moon in reverse, bringing in that clarity, also flooding in of emotion. Almost like the floodgates are open. Oh, the lovers and the eight of cups. I do feel floodgates with this and I do feel shame with this. Um, I actually, with the eight of cups, I feel exploration, like exploration of emotions as the floodgates are opening and like pouring out. But yeah, there's been a lot of uh, shame and suppression of just like, it almost feels like desire or impulse or urges or just like basic animalistic human aspects um, a lot of denial of that a lot of pushing that down a lot of shoving that down and now the floodgates are open and there's a lot of exploring the self like the emotional body a lot of exploring the emotional body through this but i feel a lot of shame and it feels very hard it feels very heavy again a little bit of a dark night of the soul going on there any other messages any other messages my Scorpio masculines? Ooh, 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 ooh. Don't run away from me. Oh, I see why you wanted to run away from me. <laughs> Page of Swords in reverse. Again, more realization of like that denial that's going on here, almost lying to the self about something. Any other messages my Scorpio men masculine energies? That's it. Overall, wow, we've got the Empress in reverse. Coming in on the masculine side in the overall energy. Then we have the Knight of Wands in reverse. Oh man, and the Knight of Cups in reverse with the Six of Wands. Movement away from this. <sighs> that suppression is heavy. It's a lot. It feels really intense. It feels really overwhelming. It's a lot of exertion of energy too to suppress and suppress and suppress and suppress and suppress and suppress. And suppress. Um, I also feel like it's relating directly to the feminine energy here. Whether that is external or internal, for most of you, it's going to be both. Um, yeah, I feel like the masculine energy, the masculine side is realizing there's been a lot of suppression of the feminine. A lot of suppression of the feminine, almost like a shoving away of the feminine, a hushing, almost like a hushing up. That's interesting. Hushing up and putting away the feminine. Hush up and put away. Hush up and put away. Hush up and put away. This is happening. This has been happening internally. There's realization of this. With the realization of this, with the Page of Swords in a verse, there's also realizing how much illusion that there has been around this because there's been denial around this it's like it hasn't been in in the forefront of awareness we'll just say it that way that there's been such a shoving away and hushing up and putting that away putting that away putting that away putting that away um and this could also translate to the external as well like with doing this with other other feminine energies like shoving away feminine energies like go away hush up let me dominate and be masculine like that sort of stuff that sort of energy I feel like this directly ties into part one as well. The Knight of Wands in a verse and the Knight of Cups in a verse, I just keep getting more of that, like really suppressing nature. That's interesting. Like suppressing one's own nature, one one's own impulse, one's one 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 one's own emotional desires, um, emotional needs and passions. Again, just natural impulse as well, just suppressing a lot of that around feminine energy. But then we have the Six of Wands. The Six of Wands indicates movement away from that. Also victory over that because there is the realization that this is happening. Even if it is emotional, even if it is like an emotional floodgate openings of, um, of exploring the feminine energy and getting into a little bit more of your own emotional body and exploring your emotional body a little bit more and just accepting that this has been a thing. So like I said, even in part one, for those who haven't watched part one, I was feeling like the masculine energy is so solidified and so cemented, but the feminine energy needs to be really addressed. And I'm seeing here on the masculine side, 
So whether you resonate with masculine energy or not, or you are experiencing this with someone in your life or not, masculine energy is realizing how much they have suppressed the feminine externally and internally and needing to embrace that is very emotional and it's very heavy and there's a lot of shame around it like suppressing one's one's own nature and emotional needs and desires as well and coming to a head with that that's hard that's a, that's hard that's very very hard now if you are connecting to someone like this it could be that they have suppressed you a lot okay now let's go ahead and look at the feminine <sighs> scary let me get a little water a little moon water I need some moon water okay all right feminines let me get out of that masculine energy for a minute okay there you guys are Okay, Scorpio Feminines. I feel the need to use Spirit Song, but that one always confuses me. I love using it, but because of the illustrations and everything, I get a little disoriented with it. Um, for my Scorpio Feminines. What are we going to use for my Scorpio Feminines? I really do want to use an Oracle for you guys. Let's do Isis. Let's do Isis. I said that so commanding. Let's go. It's a drop shit. Sorry. <clears throat> we'll go with Isis Oracle. Yeah, I, I feel a major stepping into your power. Feels really nice. Now, this is still a newer deck for me, so I might have to refer back to the book on occasion. I only do that if I feel the need to. I am mostly an intuitive reader. Any messages for Scorpio females and feminine energies? as relates to the spread. Any messages from my Scorpio females and feminine energies as relates to the spread? messages from my Scorpio females and feminine energies. Ooh, I've never gotten this card out before. The brother in darkness is about set. Overcoming negative energy with feminine power. <laughs> I love my job. I'm going to read that to you again, just so you guys get it. The brother in darkness overcoming negative energy with feminine power i'm gonna read this card to you there's no way in hell i'm not gonna read this card to you that's exactly what i've been feeling for the feminine energy since i started even part one like getting in feminine power getting in that like superpower of the heart to take over your space again to be a little bit more like commanding of your space and with other people and to be in your power with it and have energetic boundaries and all of that yeah yeah yeah, we'll see if we even get any other cards. I'd be shocked. I wouldn't be surprised if this is the only card we get for the Scorpio Feminines. But I am going to read that to you once all the cards are out. That is just too funny. <laughs> oh. Any other met? Thank you. Got two more. Mm -hmm. Let's see what these are. We have Spirit of Isis, tri Triumph of the Goddess. Again, more about stepping into divine feminine power. And then Pillar of Light, Descent of the Star of Isis. I feel the need to read that one. I don't immediately connect to it intuitively. It almost feels like getting... That's it. Okay. This is not going to be for everybody, especially for those of you who are not very galactic or ascension-y. Um, I do feel like light codes coming in, like getting light, being blasted with light. Uh, for some of you, it could even be in a bit of an ascension process here. But stepping into your feminine power, I think it's going to blow some of your minds who are really resonating with this, like who have been having trouble like dealing with your feminine energy or sitting in it or embracing it, especially that power of the heart space as it relates to feminine energy. feminine energy. You might be shocked at how powerful you become 
or how powerful you have been this whole time and you just haven't been seeing that about yourself. I'm getting a little bit of a shock factor with this. Overall, we have Eye of Horus, which is very cool. Uh, awakening Divine Perception. It's seeing yourself in more true light by just embracing a part of you that you have been denying yourself or have been keeping very stifled and very stunted and very like, ah. And again, some of this actually could speak of ascension as well. It's just coming into power. It's coming into some crazy feminine power and being aware that you are always capable of that. Yeah, being aware that you're always capable of that. I got to read The Brother in the Darkness of Overcoming Negative Energy with, the, with Feminine Power. I have to read that. How could I not read that? Uh, where'd the book go? Oh, there it is. Okay. Whenever negative energy is present, it is a sign that we are ready to move more deeply into our feminine divine power. The brother in darkness indicates that there is negative energy either within you or outside of you, but directed towards you that is providing you with a spiritual test, beloved initiate. You shall overcome this energy with grace and triumph. Stay in your heart. Stay in your heart. There is no need to be afraid. There's a longer description. Let's see how long it is. Oh, it's long. It's very long. Um, let me see if I can just like pick like the last paragraph or two, how long that would be. Mm. I'm debating where to start at because this is very long. I'm going to read the last two paragraphs. Trust your feminine values, whether man or woman, and don't believe for one moment that you are obliged to wear another's negativity for them. You are not. You may stand true in your purity of heart and be safe. Uh, if you do have negative energy rising within you, the saying stands true. Have compassion and witness it, but don't believe that you have to identify with it. It is not you. It is just energy and feeling. Let it flow and it shall go. The ritual healing below will... Oh, well, then there's a whole ritual of healing that I'm not going to read for you. Um, yeah, that is the epitome of feminine power. It is from the heart. It is about having compassion, but also being able to exercise boundaries to not take on other people's shit. Right? You don't got to be everyone's mama, basically. <laughs> You can be your own mama. You don't want to be a mama for everybody else, right? And again, with Spirit of Isis, Triumph of the Goddess, it is just being successful and powerful in that divine feminine energy. Um, and again, with Polar of Light, I keep getting this ascension kind of feel or getting blasted with codes um, or just higher frequencies. So me, like I said, this is about an ascension process. I am going to read Polar of Light because I feel like there's something there that I'm not connecting with intuitively. I know I just saw it. Okay. Pillar of Light, Descent of the Star of Isis. Beings of light and divinity are calling you now. They wish to connect with you more strongly, and you are being guided to strengthen your energy field to allow more of the divine light that seeks you to flow through your body safely and into expression. I'm going to read the first couple paragraphs because I feel like this one's really important for you guys. Beloved Initiate, you are called to allow more divine energy and light to emanate from your body to help build your light body so that the love and healing of the cosmic feminine energies of the Star of Isis can descend through you, offering healing light and assistance to humanity and setting your own heart and soul on fire with divine love and passion. It is suggested that you first build and strengthen your natural pillar of light within your energy body, like building a broadband cable so that you can receive energy transmissions into your being more easily. Without such preparation, it would be like trying to run high voltage electricity through wires that were not equipped to handle it. Some fire and damage could would occur and the practice would not be safe or sensible. The pillar of light is the energy tube of pure white light that connects the soul star chakra above your head and the earth star chakra beneath your feet. The star of Isis will descend from above your soul star chakra, pouring in grace, light, and healing power until it eventually flows like a river into your earth star chakra, blessing the earth through your body. Yeah, this definitely feels a little bit like an ascension process for some of you. Others, by, oh, by getting into your feminine energy and getting into that like superpower of the heart sort of energy for you, it is accessing more energy that has always been there, but you've never accessed it before right? So very, very powerful stuff here. So God, it's such a contrast with the masculine and the feminine. And as this relates within each of us, right? If you're resonating with both, it really just seems like you have been very solidified in your own masculine energy to the point where you have suppressed your own feminine. 
within yourself or your own feminine energy, your own feminine power, like dismissing, dismissing, hushing, hushing, hushing. I'm getting hushing with that. Denying your own nature, denying your emotional needs, for some even denying like natural urges of sorts. And excuse me, accepting that and seeing that with the moon in reverse, the lovers and the eight of cups, it's opening the floodgates to have balance within yourself, a masculine and feminine. Could even relate to dealing with a connection of having to leave that connection or head towards a connection for some of you. And you're having that emotional exploration. You're exploring your emotional body. And in doing so, you're exploring your inner feminine and you're exploring your heart and you're exploring the wounds around that and exploring shit. Oh my God, I'm actually very powerful. And it's allowing your feminine power to come more online and to be utilized. And so you can have healthier boundaries. You can command your space. You can command that your emotional needs be met. And if people don't want to meet them, they don't got to be in your space, right? Divine feminine power. They don't got to be in your freaking space. That's just it. Um, and like I said, even in part one, in part one, I kept getting a detour energy of like turn left, like hard left now, because you need to realize that there's something coming up ahead where it's like you've been on a path for a while. The path that you're on is based off of the person you've been, right? The path you've been walking is the version of you that hasn't really had a whole lot of feminine power. That path you've been on, the bridge is out up ahead. Getting into your feminine power, realizing this, is going to cause you to take a detour, cause you to take a hard left and to start a new path. Even if it requires a little bit of patience, a little bit of slow building of stability and feeling kind of okay and grounded in it, that's okay. You will be fine because you got a lot of feminine power coming in here. I also feel the need to tell you not to let anyone take advantage of you, okay? And some of you who have suppressed your feminine energy, it is because you dealt with a lot of people who have had very dominating, controlling masculine energy that did not allow you to have your own feminine power. This was also a really big message that came up in my Balmy Spirit Uncut episode, the last one I did. And I actually did it outside. It was really fun. You can find that on Patreon. And for my patrons who are patrons, hi patrons. If you missed that, it is there. So go ahead and check it out. Okay. So let's go ahead and do some crystal advice. Scorpios. Producing using crystals, the stone deck. Any crystal recommendations for my Scorpios as it pertains to the spread? Any crystal recommendations for Scorpios as it pertains to these spreads? how you say that Larimar, Larimar. um that's a really pretty one just so you guys know so you can see it it's a stunning blue i think i have a Larimar bracelet um but Larimar is kind of a cooling stone it's kind of like aquamarine a little bit it's to get a little lax it's to calm down it's to know that everything will be okay um but it also has a little touch of energy to help with your throat chakra and your third eye it seems like the feminine energy here or the feminine aspect of scorpios uh really needs to be more comfortable in exercising your energy exercising your domain and exercising your voice that's been a big message for feminine energies the last couple months that i've been getting mostly for balmy spirit and also like my patreon videos um I haven't talked about that too much on YouTube, but yeah, exercising the voice of feminine power is really, really important for feminine energies right now. Any other crystal recommendations? Oh, am I taking all of these? Put them back. Okay, they just said put them back. All right, putting them back. Any other crystal recommendations for my Scorpios as it pertains to these spreads? Oh, okay, perfect. <laughs> of course, you guys get opal, Scorpio stone. All right, let's see here. We have Kunzite. That is a heart stone. I believe it's also good for the higher heart, um, but I'm not surprised that that's out here. It's going to be really helpful for the feminine feminine energies and also the masculine energies too. Uh, then we have Opal and Orange Calcite. I like Orange Calcite. Orange Calcite can also be used as a health stone for those of you who've been dealing with any health issues. Opal in general is really great for Scorpio, so I always suggest that you guys get that. Um, there's also a need to kind of step into not just your power feminines, feminine energies, um, but your fire. 
your fire, your sacral, your Scorpio. Sacral is a big power source for a lot of you guys. Um, there's a need to step into that from your feminine energy. Um, that's really going to help with with uh, the left you need to take on your path, the hard left that is, is coming up that you need to be ready for and be ready to work with and work around, okay? So let's go ahead and read these off. Laramar. Seafoam toned Laramar is a volcanic blue mineral only found in the Dominican Republic. Its energy is like a spiritual snow cone for the seething and sweltering. People who need it, the hot tempered or any Aries, it's just what it says, where, which is also a sister sign, sister Mars sign. Where to put it? When super agitated, stop, drop, hold Laramar in your left hand and commence cooling breathing. <laughs> Stick out your rolled tongue and slowly inhale and exhale like you're sucking through a straw. When to use it? When you feel like all of the world's problems are suddenly just your problem. When anger stands between you and the formation of articulate sentences. Remember, chill is a choice. Ride the cool breeze with Laramar. Slow your roll. So again, I think this is going to be really good for the feminine energies who have been having a hard time exercising your voice. Okay? Then we have Kunzite. I like me some Kunzite. A high vibe lithium infused lilac pink stone that glows with an energy that could be described in a word as cuddly. People who need it, anyone with a heavy heart about something, collectors of good vibrations, where to put it, place on your heart and breathe deeply of Kunzite's cotton candy essence. Oh, and I got a lot of like pink and magenta in the part one. So there's also a good stone for anybody resonating with part one. Um, or hold out your left hand and whisper sweet nothings to yourself. When to use it? Call on Kunzite after a breakup or a major disappointment or when you're beating yourself up about something. You don't need permission to be here. You belong. If you forget that, pause, tap, turn, uh, in, bleh. pause, tap into Kunzite's pink prismatic vibration and let love rule. Open up your love channel. It's going to be good for anybody who's resonating with any of the readings today. Um, no. Opal and orange calcite, I feel the need to keep these together. I just do. So we're going to do that. Opals are well hydrated amorphous mineraloids. Precious opals are lusted after for their rainbow sparkle, aka diffraction. Common opals form in a range of colors and can deliver sensations that are anything but common. People who need it. The all black wardrobe set can benefit from black precious opal's bold pop of color and spiritual protection not so prolific artists can ride fire opal's burn where to put it the general rule of thumb for opal is that white and blue go with the head pink vibes with the heart and black vibes with the lower abdomen when to use it when you have something that needs to get moving a project a relationship or an energetic block feel all your feels scorpio feel all your feels Orange calcite. Orange calcite is the hot-blooded, artistic, love-on-the-brain wild child of the calcite family. People who need it. Artistics. Art, artistics? Artist. Artists. I'm blind. Excuse me. Artists holding the proverbial paintbrush and staring at the proverbial blank canvas. Anyone whose sex life needs a little bit more life. Where to put it? The honeymoon suite or the studio. Um, when to use it. When you want to make something beautiful, orange calcite's energy is all about breaking through the fog and the fear that hang on that hang on the path to create wait, wait, wait what orange calcite's energy is all about breaking through the fog and the fear that hang on the path to creation when you want to add some energy to your creative process or take on the kama sutra one page at a time get with orange calcite sun-kissed vibes and unlock your creativity really great stone choices for scorpios for these readings really great um kunzite fairly common to find 50 50 out of in sedona so it's easy to find here Opal should be easy to find. Laramar is a little harder. I would say that's the hardest one to find, actually. If you can't get Laramar, go with Aquamarine or Kyanite. Those are really good replacements for that. And Orange Calcite's pretty easy to find, I think. Um, trying to think of anything else besides Orange Calcite. Tiger's Eye wouldn't be bad for Orange Calcite, but I would go with Orange Calcite if you can find it, okay? Scorpios, we're almost at 30 minutes here on my phone. I do want to pull a card of advice, but I'm going to stop the video here because my phone only does 30 minutes at a time. So hold on. I'll be right back. Hey Scorpios, I'm back. So let's go ahead and pull a card of advice for my Scorpios here. Um, I actually want to pull it from, yeah, actually, yeah, I want to pull from Big Bertha for you guys. And for my newbies, who is Big Bertha? What is Big Bertha? The combined deck I have. Uh, it is the Starseed Oracle and the Angels and Ancestors deck. Can I get any advice from my Scorpios as it pertains to these spreads? Can I get any advice from my Scorpios as it pertains to these spreads? Mm. 
got one so far. Oh, breath of the cosmos, my will to thy will, micromanaging the universe. This is wanting control over what happens. And we don't always have control over what happens. I feel like that's actually more for the masculine energy at this, with this. Um, wanting things to flow a certain direction and you don't have say so over that. You don't have say so over the way the energy flows. It just flows. It flows where it wants to flow. You can either ride it or you can resist it. But I suggest riding it's much easier. <laughs> Leads to a lot more happiness and you just adapt to it. And yeah, and adapt to it. I feel like there's been such suppression of feminine energy here. It's a little ridiculous. Let's keep going. Any other advice for my Scorpios as it pertains to these spreads? Any other advice for my Scorpios as it pertains to these spreads? I'm not going to take those. Take those? Okay. There are three that flew out here. It looks like three, maybe more. Um, it just seemed like too many, but they told me to take them. So Scorpios, it looks like you guys need a lot of advice. On the bottom, we have Healing Guardian. Medicine Guardian? Healing. Yeah, Healing. Medicine Guardian, be open to healing information. Sometimes the truth is all we need, even if we don't want to hear the truth. There's a lot of needing to accept some truth and reality here, Scorpio. So we already went over this advice. Make that hard left. Shield Maiden, make plans and focus and White Witch be the light. White Witch is coming from compassion. It's that feminine power that we've been talking about here. It's also about feminine wisdom. Shield Maiden is exactly how it sounds. It's, hey, understand the truth of a situation. Understand the reality of what you're working with. Understand what's really going on here by getting into your feminine power, getting into your heart space, that super powerful heart of yours, and make that hard left and act accordingly. Shield Maiden can also be a little bit of that, like, boundary, too. Um really focusing on yourself and prioritizing yourself and your life and your plans um, and having those very healthy boundaries from that feminine place. Now this batch that came out over here. <laughs> I see why spirit wanted me to take these. High Priestess, this is the divine feminine card. There's only one in the combined deck that I have. It's a lot of cards. It's like well over 100 cards and there's only one divine feminine power card like true divine feminine this speaks of divine power like not excuse me this speaks of feminine power this is explicitly divine feminine harness mystic power harness your feminine power here protect yourself use those boundaries exercise dominion over dominion over your domain that doesn't sound right to me that sounds grammatically incorrect Exercise power over your domain and over your life and not let anybody fuck with you or fuck with your energy and allow your voice to be heard, allow yourself to be seen, allow yourself to be commanding in your feminine power because it's very needed. Then we have I remember soul plan, the fated life versus the destiny life. I do feel with the suppression of feminine, there is this like storytelling of of where you're weak and I keep getting that you think that your heart is weak and it's not weak it's where your strength lies and you're going to be learning that you will be learning that I'm also getting that um the bridge again of like the bridge is out up ahead but you need to make a left it's almost like the path you think you need to walk versus the path that you should be walking that's going to align with your power as feminine and masculine but also align with your happiness yeah it's like you're heading the direction you think you're supposed to go based off of the version of you you've been, who's suppressed your feminine energy and suppressed your feminine power, suppressed your voice for some of you, versus where you need to go, which is the person, the version of you that embraces your feminine power. Star family, you're part of a team of souls, call in support. I really like this a lot. Then we have star bathing, light body, crystal grid, transmission and activation. Again, even in the feminine part of the reading, there was this card that came out the pillar of light, where it does indicate that you are getting some divine assistance, but you're also getting flooded with light and light codes and activations for some of you here. And here it is coming across in both of these cards, also represented by this card. It's basically the same, same interpretation here. Um, you're getting assistance with your divine feminine power. You're getting assistance with your feminine energy. You're getting assistance with any expansions that are happening with your feminine energy and also stepping into that really powerful place of accepting your heart as a superpower and exercising boundaries and all of that that comes with the package. But you have support. You are supported and you're not alone in this, even if 
the, the support is your guides or a star family or ancestors, even if the support is not really in the physical, it is there energetically and primed and ready for you. Just waiting for you, pretty much. Just waiting for you to do the work. Wow, Scorpios. Step into that divine feminine power. It's necessary right now. Okay. All right, Scorpios. I hope you guys got a lot out of that. Don't forget to check out me on Patreon. Everything else you need is linked below for your convenience. And I hope to see you guys really soon. Have a really good night, Scorps. Namaste.